if you if you had two people on a dance floor that wanted to dance with each other, and this is a metaphor for two organizations, if we're looking across the floor at that other organization, contemplating, do I want to dance with that partner? And do they look like someone who would be able to dance the dance that I like to dance? Or do they look like someone who's got a dance that I could dance to or learn to dance to that I might really enjoy learning? So that contemplation, that eyeing up process between entities and beings, to say that, that a true dance, a close, slow dance between people is a process of intimate collaboration, of sensitivity to other, sensitivity to self, and ongoing communication, and ongoing negotiation, an ongoing compromise. Who's going to lead in the dance from moment to moment? Who is going to teach a specific step in the dance from moment to moment? Who is willing to receive and accept and learn a step in the dance? Who is willing to offer a step in the dance? And how do we ensure we don't step on each other's toes as we're learning to dance together? In, the, in, the, in prior collaborative efforts, the, we've only been able to affect teamwork, not true conscious collaboration. Or we've been able to operate from coordinated activities that were not conscious and were not collaborative and were not co-creative, at least not optimally or we've learned to operate in competitive dynamics that were not sustainable in our, in our world. Competition is killing our world. It could kill our species if it continues. It magnifies our capacity to destroy or to feed or to have our ego way with the world. The, the dynamics of accumulation and uh, of egos in this world. Uh, there, there, are, there are people who have hundreds of billions of dollars. They've accumulated that, that money or there are, there are organizations, the uh, religions that own vast, vast amounts of property in the world. There are nations that have influence or power over vast areas of uh, land or geography, economics, and the natural world. They're all operating from some sense of imagined self or tribe or history or referenced identity and ego identity. And how do they collaboratively dance with one another in an elegant enough way in a conscious enough way to generate solutions that are elegant and sustainable and healthy enough to map to that beautiful waterfall scene we just looked at, to not try to pave it over or concretize it or build a city on it or clear cut a forest that are consciously aware enough to honor the beautiful waterfall, to honor the, the, the grace and, and miraculous dynamics of the natural ecosystem without merely feeding upon it and destroying it, and to cl collaborate with the ecosystem, to dance with the ecosystem. In the past, shamans have been, uh, tribal shamans in native villages have had a sense a, a harmonious capacity to interact with the natural environment. They could feel the plants growing. They could tell you what plants, animals, and insects were within the 50 mile radius. They could feel them. They could feel the life force moving through them. And they could make decisions based upon that nuanced, sensitive, perceptive awareness. They could facilitate the, the evolution of the tribe through that understanding. We, are, we have intellectual, cognitive 
shamans that we would call scientists. And they're teaching us other ways to interact and to develop and evolve. And they may be out of touch with the environment, have been out of touch for the last 150 years or millions of years with, from the environment. And that said, they're now learning to turn their technology to become shamanistically aware of the planetary ecosystems dynamics. We are now learning to bridge and blend the science and the natural dynamics of the world and to learn to grow together and to meet e each other harmoniously, joyfully, peacefully, respectfully, human consciousness honoring the natural world and the natural world being supportive of the survival of human consciousness and our human species. The evolution of this dance is infinite. It will become an ever more beautiful, graceful dance that we'll all have the opportunity to participate in and to grow from and learn from and to, to facilitate the evolution of constantly if we consciously choose to. So conscious collaboration is the antidote in our understanding of the moment to climate change. It is the antidote to all of the challenges we've created for ourselves as a species and for other species and for the natural world. And it is an evolving dance. It can be a joyful, fun dance. It can be an exciting, enthusiastic dance. It can be an amazing, miraculously co-creative dance if we choose for it to be so then it's not dry, hard science. Then it, and it's not, it's not only loving resonance with the natural world, which is wonderful. It's both. It's a blend. It's a synthesis. It's a synergy. It's a collaboration between different dimensions of it, the process of God harmoniously. Our consciousness our heartfelt intentions, our souls, our loving, compassion, capa compassionate capacities, and the, the nuance and amazing miracles of the natural world. We can learn to do all of that, to make that our future, if we choose to. And if we choose to, then that beautiful natural world will be available to our children and their children, and there will be polar bears, and there will be elephants, and there will be butterflies and frogs, and there will also be joyful, loving people that are enjoying the co-creative dynamic of life together and appreciating each other for, for their contributions and their participation and loving each other trust with trust and faith and, and respect and honoring each other, simult all simultaneously. How full will be the cup of humanity with life, love, and joy in such a future? That is the opportunity and the choice that is before us. And we're, we don't mean to limit it with these paltry words or, or communications. We're pointing to a possibility that is beyond anything that we can communicate today in hopes that it is motivating, mobilizing, fulfilling, recognizably nourishing to your soul and to everyone else's enough so that we can turn in that direction together and, and construct the path together that we're all going to then follow or, or tread together. <laughs>